artist on the planet. This one straight to a boy there. You better praise it, no can it. Left by a shield and a friend. I am P45 if you can it. Fire red and dead. Me Me God. Family, you have the pleasure of introducing to you Winston and Rudy. I bless. Thank you very much for allowing us to interview you. No problem. Can you tell the Firewood family a little bit about your journey? Oh, a little bit. No, tell us about your journey. Oh, my goodness, you'll take about a year, but. <laughs> 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 well, you know, as um, started years and years ago um, with a band called the Express, and uh, we used to back um, Errol Dunkley. Dennis Al Capone and you know juggle around yeah. and we did um, we did one, one recording um, at the time we did Ginger Williams can't resist your tenderness you know we back around that song and then I moved to a band called the Cimarons you know and um, that's where it has been like nine ten years with them okay. traveling all over the place you know like they throw me right into the deep the deep end because they throw me in there yeah. And uh, we start, you know, touring places like Japan and, and you know, yeah, France and Spain and all them things. Wow. Take, yeah. me, take me back a bit more. How did it start? Well, it started, as I said, when I came to England, I always wanted to be a singer because my father was a musician. Okay. And he always played the guitar, you know, to us at night. Yeah. And um, when I came to England, a friend of mine called Chili Dixon yeah. told me that they have a band called the Express. Yeah. You know, I was rehearsing if I wanted to check them out. So I went there and yeah, they asked me if I want to join the band. So that's when we start really start singing. Okay. You know. Um, what was what was your first release? My first release as Winston Reedy. Yeah. Um, it's a smoke. It's a, uh, what was it now? I told you, I don't care about anything else but being with you by um, smoke. Is it Smokey Robinson? Robinson. Yeah. yeah. Same. That was the first release um, under the name Winston Reed. But I did one before that, like Win under Winston Reed, okay. R E E D, okay. and Palmer Record, the version of Breakfast in Bed. That was my first one. Yeah. Give us a little bit of that one. You've been crying, your face is a mess. So, ladies, true, but yeah. you know, that was my first. That's why I asked you to sing it. Record, yeah, that was your first, <laughs> first recording, yeah. How did your family feel about your career choice? My mother didn't realize that I was Winston really until a few years ago, believe it or not. Really? Somebody said to her, keep telling her, I said, you have a son singing? She said, me? His name is Winston Reedy. She said, I don't know no Winston Reedy. My name is Winston Reedy. Yeah. So they keep telling her, I said, no, 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 you have a, you, your son sing, man. She said, no, I don't know about no singer about Winston Reedy. So, um, it's just a few years ago she realized that Winston Reed is our son. And how does she feel about it? Well, she's sort of surprised. 
episode. Good, 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 good. Patrick Teddy over the great Matix. Respect, <laughs> every, respect every time, man. Yeah, so um, she was a bit surprised when she realized that I was the one who they called Winston Reedy. Yeah. yeah. She said, she said, why did you change your name? I said, I didn't change my name. It was a, it was a sort of a, a blunder when Daughters of Zion Reese. Instead of they put, they, they put Winston Reedy. Okay, and it stuck. And it, it so we like that. So yeah. Just, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we all like. Who inspired you to write music? And well, the Almighty. Your friends at the time. Well, the Almighty. You know, it's, it's sort of strange. Um, you know, I've get influence from you know like like the Bob Marley's, the Burning Spears, the you know like them kind of long time yeah. influence there. And um, yeah. Tell us the Firewood families the names of some of your hit tunes. Well, the first number one I have, I have five consecutive number one. Mm -hmm. And the first number one I have is a, is a, um, a tune called Daughters of Zion. Mm -hmm. Stay with me until the end of time. Judge, I know I will make you mine. Yeah, that was my first um, number one tune. Yeah. And then I have um, Paradise in Your Eyes. It was a Jermaine Jackson tune, yeah. yeah. And then I have um, the big tune, Dim the Light. Yeah. And then Baby Love, and a tune called More Emma Who, which was taken from the Dim the Light album. Okay. Yeah. So, um, yeah. But apart from that, I think um, the first number one record that I sang hmm. was the rendition of Talking Blues. Okay. The Bob Marley Talking Blues, which went to number one in Jamaica for seven weeks. Okay. That was in 1975. Okay. That was the first. No more record I've seen. So, where did your career start? Here or in Jamaica? It started over here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I started here. Why is music important to you? Because it's, it's, it's just. Music is, is, is life, really. To me, music is. Without music, I have nothing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, it's, you know, music is just. Reggae music. Because I used to like soul, but. Um, Reggae was my um go to. Yeah. So okay. yeah. 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 <laughs> Your music has taken you all around the world. Is there any places that are memorable to you? And can you name some of these places? There was, there was, there's a few there's a few uh, memory um you know, sort of stick in my mind. The first time I did reggae song splash in Jamaica. Yeah. Because you don't really know because I heard about the Jamaican crowd and them rough and you know what I mean? And you can't go on no nonsense business, you know what I mean? So um, I was a bit you know, so, but once I get on the stage and grab the mic and the people them start and Greg Riser come over to me and say, You have a good voice, you know. <laughs> you have a good voice. Just just relax a bit more. You're good, man. You're good. <laughs> Just relax a bit more, man. You know. Always, must, always remember that. Yeah. That makes you feel good, though. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, that was a memorable. I have a few, a few memorable gigs still. Um, was doing a show in La Havre, yeah. in south of France, and I have a section for wheelchairs in the front part of the thing. And when when the, when the music hit this guy, he get up out of his chair and starts skanking. Yeah. And to, and the, the carer pass out. <laughs> she said this, this man has never walked. In him life. Really? How come he get up with him chair and start skanking? Yeah. <laughs> that really? And I'm like, you know, that shake me up. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Them kind of memories stick in your head, you know? Yeah. Yeah, man. Um, would you mind sharing the, um, the current struggle you think recording artists may face? Well, we are facing, and we've been facing it for years, um, especially in reggae music, because we get a lot of fight. Yeah. You know, a lot of, a lot of fight. Why do you think that is? Because the music is a, it's, 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 it's a message music, it's a revolutionary music, to be honest with you. It, it, it sends the message, the right message, yeah. to the people. And certain systems don't, don't want that. No. Yeah? So reggae music always get a fight. Yeah, yeah. But we're stronger than that. Uh, if you could give advice to any aspiring artists, what would it be? Uh, I would say work hard. And, um, you know, get the right. Um, people to deal with your things. Yeah. yeah, it's very important. And register your music because a lot of us over the years get get robbed big time because we didn't understand the the legal part of it. Yeah. You know the registration of it, the this that, and so we sort of miss out a lot of things because we sort of sign over with you to a every time we can hire you know. Yeah. So we 
we sort of miss out this. So I would say to any young people who come in, make sure that you um you do the, the paperwork properly. Yeah. What do you think the support's like? Yeah. Support for artists. Artists. Mm. Yeah. Well, uh, the support will be there if you if you. Push. If, yeah, yeah. You know. Okay. What have you currently got in the pipeline? Well, I've got a lot of stuff sitting down and um, that we recorded and just waiting for the right time to put out. Um, you know, I'm coming out with an album. I've got one album called uh, Part of Me. I've got another one, uh, Vision in Life. And I'm doing another one at the moment called Black Pearl. These are what you're working on now? Yeah. Out with yeah, I'm working on Black Pearl at the moment. Okay. So, yeah. So we've got to look out for that one? Yeah, man. Okay. Please feel free to make a shout out to your well wishes. Well, big up all lovers of reggae. Reggae lovers. Big up Fire all red. Lovers Why of you don't know if fire red is red, red, red hot? <laughs> red, red, red. What about the ration? In a the music business, yeah. A fire red a tweet, yeah. In a the music business, yeah. A Winston Reed is it. Fire, fire, fire.